I don't know why, I just never thought I'd ever say on the channel that there's a brand new Predator movie on Disney+. Plus. I don't know how, but there is, and it's really sick. Prey. This is a Predator prequel movie. It is set on Earth, it is 1 hour 40 minutes long, and it is rated R, and it is on Disney+. Plus. And basically, the story with, of course, zero spoilers, is set on Earth in the year 1719. So there's a lot of, like, tribes... Not many people have guns, or at least like the people that we're with, they do not have guns, mate. Spears, bow and arrows, axes, you get it. And then your traditional thing happens in any Predator movie, the Predator arrives to Earth, which we can assume is the first time ever, and now you've got your movie, mate. And i got to be honest, this surprised the hell out of me, man. I enjoyed this movie so goddamn much. In fact, this could have easily gone to like any movie theatre, because it would have done really good. In fact, there's not actually much I need to say revolving this story. If you've ever seen a Predator movie, you know exactly what's going on except like the big twist here is obviously it's set so back in the day no one's got guns mate it's all spears and stuff and even the predator himself has got a bunch of new gadgets and damn first of all uh, the human characters they're all fine there is basically one main hero of the movie she's kind of really awesome it's just everyone around her it is putting her down, mainly because she's a woman and, you know, she should be a hunter and blah, blah, blah. You get it. You've seen it multiple times before. Some of that stuff was a little bit forced. It was a little bit cheesy, but dang, man, the action. First of all, just, yeah, let's just talk about the Predator. Oh my god. Visually, he doesn't look like any other Predator we've seen before. Some of his weapons are so unique and amazing. And by the way, yo, the kills in this movie blew my mind, man. I actually don't know how this ain't rated M. There's some crazy ass kills. Do not let your kids watch this movie. They'll be ruined, mate. The, the kills and stuff in here, insane. All of the action, to be honest, is actually really, really good. In fact, if I'm thinking, like, I might even rank, like, all the Predator movies uh, from worst to best a little bit later on today. I might make a short of it. I'm thinking, like, I don't even know where this is going to be. It's going to be right near the top, if I'm being honest. Like, obviously, it ain't going to beat the OG. I mean, the OG Predator is probably a 10. Let's be honest. This is so goddamn good. But this could be second. I'm just saying. This is a really, really sick movie, especially for a Predator movie. It is amazing. I mean, the kills, gore, the story's fine. You know what's going on. But this whole, like, new tribe setting, and I would say 90% of the movie looked amazing. There is, like, a handful of scenes where you could tell, like, oh, yeah, it's CGI here. Mainly when it they try to do like animal stuff it looks a little bit bait but i gotta be honest everything looks like it was filmed in real life in the forest mate it looks amazing the visuals is like one of the best bits in this movie then the predator killed the show i gotta be honest this surprised the hell out of me i did not think it would be this good and i'm gonna give prey 7.5 nerds out of 10 the only thing stopping this from like getting a there was some lines of dialogue which was very very cheesy like it felt just off mate but aside from that everything was great also big up the runtime this could have easily been some forced two hour movie and it would have had so many slow bits but i think an hour and 40 minutes they nailed it mate ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for watching actually you not know last thing i'm gonna say is please someone at disney plus sort out an alien movie because this has showed the world you guys know what you're doing thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all peace